Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode of our Legion Battle Report series. This is episode 31. And before we get started with our list, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. It really helps us grow. Like the video, leave a comment below to enter to win this great Lando Calrissian expansion. This is brought to you by the Gift of Games. Gift of Games is a local game store who has everything a local game store would have. Great prices on AMG products and more. Check them out. Links below. Other than that, let me talk about my list. I really wanted to bring a Anakin Obi list because, well, they're two of my favorite characters. So Obi-Wan Kenobi has Force Reflexes, Force Barrier, Vigilance, and Situational Awareness. And then Anakin has Force Reflexes, Saber Throw, Tenacity, and Endurance. I have a total of four units of the Phase 1s. Two have the Z6, one has the DP-23, and one has the RPS-6 Trooper. I have an ARC Trooper Strike Team with the DC-15. And I wanted to bring an ATR2 with a flamethrower. Because if you don't have enough things that can hurt you at range one or melee range, let's add one more. So he really has to choose what to shoot. Mm. With that being said, I came in at 797, I believe. I'll double check that before we go to Don's list and check out his Empire list for this evening. All right, and before I go over my list today, I want to say a special thank you to our commander level patrons. Uh, we have Jamal A., Jason Nickercheck, and Dan Duback. Uh, if you are interested in giving us a little bit more support than just watching the videos, uh, check out our Patreon. We give away some stuff, and you can support us, and we like it. Um, other than that, tonight I brought and we Iden. like it. <laughs> tonight I brought Aiden with the ID10 droid. She has her blaster, um, situational awareness, and offensive push. Uh, she brought with her her Inferno Squadron with Dell and Gideon that also has offensive push. I brought two units of the full Imperial uh, Strike Teams, or not Strike Teams, Scout Troopers, Scout troopers with the Sonic Charge Saboteur, uh, Ascension Cables, and Duck and Cover. Yeah. Uh, I have the Lat with the Imperial TIE Pilot, the Onboard Comms, and the High Energy Shells. I have two units of Shore Troopers with the T-21B, two of the Mortars, and then one Storm Trooper uh, unit that's just naked. I came in at the full 800 points, so Joe... Gets to be a blue player yet again. So I'm going to make him dig his cards out, and we'll take a look at what that looks like. Here are my awesome cards for this evening. Everything is awesome. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to start right away by flipping Danger Close. Are you sure? Yeah, just because I kind of like the... There's more... I just want to. We'll just say that. Okay. I, I really, you know, I was hoping we could play Limited Visibility, because I brought a gun line, and nothing is better for we'll a gun We'll just flip line. this as he's talking. <laughs> I'm going to pass. I like I like fortified, like battle lines, I like intercept. I think we've uh, intercepted quite a bit. Let's let's sabotage. Like stop those moisture farmers from. <laughs> it's pretty tough to get moisture on Hoff, you know. Don't, don't tell them there's ice and snow everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we're playing sabotage moisture farmers, battle lines, fortified positions. We'll get the map set up and we'll come back and show you guys all about. It. <laughs> start of round one where I went with Hero of the Clone Wars, which reads, Anakin Skywalker gains Exemplar and Reliable 2. At the end of the activation, if he's not in range 1 to 2 of Friendly Trooper, he will gain Suppression. He went with um, some card with squiggles on it. I don't know. I'm pretty it's sure assault, it's bro. pretty sure it's Assault. It's assault. <laughs> um, this little board here is our, or not ours, J Squared's little dashboard. Holds the cardboard, the cardboard dial, all your victory markers, and all your cards you need every round. I mean, Jade Square did give it to us, so it is ours. It's true. They also make these great order tokens where you can put all your order tokens in there, and they actually have the symbol underneath them of what order token goes in there. The lid is magnetic to the bottom and to the top. They also make a token in the template tray. Check out the links below. This board here is Hoth. We've returned to Hoth. Let's talk about deployment as I walk through the board slowly, and we'll talk about cover and all that fun stuff. Okay. Cover-wise, um, it was fortified position, so there's a lot of barriers, of course, but these craters are difficult terrain to pass through, and you only get light cover if you're in it. The snow mounds, um, the single level, this was a this was a topic in our last one. Let me just grab this random trooper real quick. So if he's behind here and someone's here, you can shoot him because, as you see, the whole head sticks up over that, so it does not cover him completely. You can see him. Now, if they're behind here, obviously, he can't shoot them. Just want to clarify that so people don't get confused. Those are going to be heavy cover. Light cover wise, we have the scatter terrain along the board. The downed snow speeders are also going to be light cover. 
Everything else will be heavy cover except for the gun itself is heavy, but the gas canisters there are going to light cover as well. I went ahead and deployed most of my forces into this nice little clone Anakin Obi-Wan Kenobi protective barrier ball right here. I did play his 3 pip that gives him Reliable 2, an exemplar, so that's why there's two search tokens there. My lovely ATR-2 with a flamethrower plopped and then scouted up because he has Scout 1 because the Republic 1 is fancy. So fancy. And these guys have Scout 2 because they fancy and they scouted up there. So they thought they were going to lock this one down and it really wasn't going to be part of the game until he decides to put a lat and, <laughs> and a stormtrooper unit over here to tell me no. So we'll see what happens there. But maybe I can hop in this and that will be fine. So. Yeah, it'll be fine. The other, his first placement was there for his... Um, Inferno Squadron. Inferno Squadron and the Vaporator. Mm -hmm. And he's got a shortness detachment there, of course. His other Vaporator is there with the rest of his forces. Both both of these scout strike teams that have now have scout three, so they moved way up there. And the other shore and the other detachment, the mortar. And my other one went here. So I put mine literally on the two opposite ends of the boards. And I have this whole force here to hold that down. With that said... We both have three pips. We'll roll off and see who gets to go. I'll just roll now. It's you. It is You want to roll off. Want to roll off. Let's go check it out. Going to my stack for my first activation. Got my strike team over here. My arc troopers. Um, do they want to play with my lat? I brought a lat, guys. We would prefer not to play with your lat, but this should have two damage on it. And um, we're going to go ahead and take our action to interact with the... Evaporator, and then for our second action, I thought about shooting those stormtroopers. I can see two of them, but I don't think that really helps me, so I'm just going to take a dodge. We're just going to try to hunker down here for at least a turn or two. All right, sounds good. All right, so I'm going to go with the uh, special forces first here. They are going to take an aim for their first action, and then they're going to split fire. So I'm going to drop the two blacks from our regular Inferno Squadron Trooper into the ATRT, and then we'll take a range five shot into, um, I guess we'll go with, We'll go with the, it's the phase twos, right? The orange ones? There's no phase twos. Oh, all just, phase ones. So we'll go with the Z6, Z6 rocket orange launcher. phase ones. Okay. And uh, we'll go to the next box. Let's go check that out, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to start off with the pot shot at the ATRT, hoping for just a rando crit here. You're just looking at nothing. My armor. And then we'll take the lethal shot into our Z6 phase ones. And we'll just up that to a crit. And you can deal with that. I'll horse barrier that away. All right. With Obi-Wan's horse barrier. Okay, we're going to go to Obi-Wan Kenobi. His force barrier is popped, so we're just going to take him now. He's going to take a partial maneuver just up to about this corner here, which is in range one of all his friendly people for any guardian nonsense he wants to do. He, for his second action, he will take a dodge. We're not going to tap reflexes because we only have mass force one and we want to bring back barrier and save reflexes when we need it. So we'll do that. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to go to the stack attack here. We got our heavy early. Not great, but not bad. So he's got one job right now, and that is to come in here and tell these... It's a big ship for those two little ARC yeah, troopers. Tell these little ARC troopers that they shouldn't be alive anymore. Hooray! So they unfortunately don't get an aim, but we'll uh, we'll drop some fire and see where we're at. Hold out, guys. You have a whole whopping one dodge. You're going to be fine. All right, so with the high energy shells and the standard weapon, I'm rolling three blacks, three reds, and one white. I have critical one, and I do not surge to hit. Well, that's super unfortunate. Well, that's not bad. You only blinked on one of the really good dice. There's a crit on this dice somewhere. All right. It's, it's there. So we'll crit that one. So the four will keep it down to three. to three. So we need at least two blue, though, to survive this already. No, we need two blocks. They don't surge. Oh, boy. Nope, they Oof. did. Thank God. We're going to go with the blue 501st here. They're going to move on up. They're going to come here, and their second action is going to be to just take a dodge and wait for a backup. It's a good plan. We're going to go to the stack here. We're going to get a core. It's going to be the purple mortar here. It's going to go ahead and take an aim for its first action, and then fire its mortar into the ATRT. We'll go to the ice box, take a gander. We have this great thing in the back here that pops up like an umbrella and then kind of like makes armor above like that, so we should be fine. Oh, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. So we got three whites, surge to cr er, critical one, and an eight. There's our critical. Let's go ahead and spend that aim. And that goes to the armor, but you take one crit. Okay. And this ATR, he does surge for defense. Stupid. This ATR just sucks. 
Nope, it takes damage. Go to the stack. I got another core. We're going to go with the purple unit with the Z6 here. They are going to just kind of trudge up to this lovely evaporator here. And they're just technically just a tiny bit short. So he'll just, just move for his arrow. second action. You know what? Actually, no. We're just going to take a dodge. Dodging. Six turns, buddy. Six turns. Plenty of game left. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to dodge and kind of hang out. Okay. Gonna go ahead and go to the stack again. We're gonna get another core. We'll go with the red mortar this time. He's gonna take an aim and he's gonna drop a mortar shot into those purple guys that just moved up. And we see if we can't do any damage to them. All right, so we've got uh, three whites with critical one and an aim. We will reroll two. Well, there's the first crit. It's literally holding a white dice and it rolls. So you're looking at two crits there, buddy. So we'll use the four spear to take away one of those. Right. And then I have access to a couple dodges, they won't matter. Um, I can't guard in the crit with Obi either, so we're just gonna roll for this. But we do have two surges from Anakin we could spend. We're gonna spend one of those surges and take right. nothing. Sounds good. Just some suppression. Throw my stack. Got another core. We're gonna go with the 212th. They're gonna just take a partial maneuver to come to the, as far as they can right behind their buddy here. And then they're gonna walk through all their friends because we're clones and we can do that. And they can definitely get next to this uh, back raider is what I'm looking for. It's so vappy. It's a it's a vappy taffy. Super vappy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our stack. It's another core. We'll go with the red uh, shores here. They're gonna take an aim and they're gonna fire into the orange unit that just moved up here, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've got four blacks for our regular shore trooper, and then two blacks and two whites for our T twenty one critical one. They have heavy cover. We have an aim token. I'm just gonna call that cocked and roll it again. All right, so. Critical one will kick in on the white dice, which is nice. And then we'll spend the aim on two blacks. And you're just looking at two after cover. Okay, um. Can't dodge or. No, I can't really do anything. Guardian those. those, so Wait. just take a two. Access, I believe, to one surge, but we'll measure to make sure still. Doesn't need a measure to make sure, we'll just take nothing and take another suppression. And last but not least is the cumbersome unit with the rocket launcher. They're heavy, dedicated to my strike team, so they're nowhere near us. So we're just going to move up like so into this little scrum we got going on here. And instead of kind of moving out here, out in the open where his scouts might be able to get a nice clean shot, we're just going to come to here and we're going to go ahead and take a dodge, just because there's not enough dodges on the boards at this point. That's no, it? I think she shouldn't dodge. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go to the stack. It's going to be Aiden. She is going to move over here. Up into this cover take your droid and her shield with her and she will take a shot into our atrt Lion, or Aiden's gun is two whites two reds one black it's critical one impact one onto our friendly neighborhood atrt here so that's pretty juicy so you're looking at three crits buddy it's just don's dice just lately with crits. three crits I block one block take one. two so i'm okay Last in my stack is the TRT. Um, he's already got three damage, guys, pretty early. I didn't happen to roll that perfect trifecta. Hit, crit, surge to make all her <laughs> paint dice go. So he's just going to go ahead and use his uh, clamber, since he's an expert climber, and come like so. Okay. Now he's up top. Um, that was his first action, because it's not skill or anything fun like that. Yeah. But, you know, I think what we do here is, because I can easily move next turn and flamethrower pretty much anything I want. So let's... Let's take an un, no cover shot with just his base gun. It's the, uh, what do they call it? It's the, it's the something. It's the RPC-2 rocket launcher, black, white, white, crit one. Let's go, let's go see if that does anything. Okay. Okay, so black, white, white, crit one, impact one won't matter, search to hit, he's got no cover. Let's hope for some paint. Yep, a lot of paint there. All right, so we'll go to our stack. It's only cores left. We're gonna go ahead and go with our short troopers here. They're going to take an aim, and they're going to try to finish off the uh, ATRT before it can flame me next round. All right, so it's the same short trooper dice pool, four black dice for the short troopers, two black, two white for the T21. With an aim token, critical one. We'll get two natty crits. Just that. two, and uh, we'll spend the aim here. Well, you haven't rolled re -rolled yet. You'll get your surge now to make it three. No! No, just three natty crits. Still three. Still same result. So you're looking at three, buddy. I block one, block take one, two more, take I'll two. break, but I'm not dead. Okay, we're going to go with Anakin. Anakin's going to go ahead and hop over this lovely uh, ice rock mountain thing. Land here with his boys. 
his first action. He's going to bring his token with him. He's going to then go ahead and take a um, standby for that sweet second action. And then he'll also pop his Force Reflex. He doesn't master the Force yet, but just in case, he's got two scouts to go, so he might stand by one. He can hit me with the other one. So I want to be, I want to be covered. All right, sounds great. All right, we'll go to the stack over here. It's going to be my last core. These Stormtroopers, we're just going to start running up to our little guy here. They've got one job to do now, and it's heal evaporators. Here. And that's them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the white uh, guys here. They're going to pop their ascension cables and scale up here. So they end up right there. Do you want to trigger your standby? It's technically still your move. Oh, they get to move and then scale. So then we'll move right up to here. Now, would you like to trigger your standby? 100%. And we're playing with this, this tiny crack we're saying we can hit okay. through. Which is interesting, but we can. Okay, so three red dice, saber throwing from Anakin, hoping to kill him. Yep, you definitely killed the guy you can see. Woohoo! So Don moved his leader away and switched him to there because I killed him, and then he threw a bomb up there, which will blow up all of us and him. That's true. So we'll go check it out. All right, so I'm just gonna start with myself because why not? This will be his blank roll. There's, there's the blank. And so that's another dead. Scout Trooper. And then let's go with the Jedi. So we'll start with Obi. He's looking at a hit and a crit. We'll use Obi's dodge to dodge one away. So just a crit. And activates my surge to block. So we're fine. So just two suppression. Then we'll go with Annie. It's suppressive block. It is suppressive. So just a crit. Um, I do not have situational awareness in Anakin, so I have to roll for it. We're fine. Another suppress two suppression there. And then let's just start with some clones. So we got four units of clones. First unit's taken one. Um, they'll spend what? They'll spend their dodge. So just two third or two suppression. Second unit taking a crit. Have to roll for that. We still have a search token to play with here. Nope, we'll lose one. Right. Figure out which we can say which one that is. Uh, let's just say that's the orange unit. Okay. So I did the purple unit. Now the orange unit. Now we'll do the blue unit. For crit, I assume they're they're dodging. Their second of their three dodges on the clones. We're fine. Just two more suppression, and then whatever the color the last unit is. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Right, so just one suppression for that unit. Only one death. I'll live with that. Yep, that's pretty great. And then for my last activation here, these guys are going to heal the first damage off of their evaporator, and then they're going to throw a nice safety bomb. So this bomb is just going to sit right here, so that when he does come around the corner. If I have a saboteur or a scout alive, I can blow him, blow him up. Okay, that is the end of round one. Um, the clones did absolutely nothing. They moved up. <laughs> we only lost one clone, though, on this side of the board. We did lose our strike team, but when it's a lat and a unit of storms, not, not that he needed them against the strike, they were going to die. Um, he moved up pretty good, too, though. He moved them up. They lost one from Anakin and one from themselves. These guys all fired in. She moved up and fired. Um, the crit machines got through five crits on the poor ATRT. And then they're moving up to go claim that map over there. We'll go to round two. Start round two. He uh, played my flaw card nice and early, which means I can't give myself an order if I have one suppression. Because of his bomb giving me two suppressions, even though I had endurance, I took off two, but I still had one left. So no order for Anakin. But I went with General Kenobi's. Um, General, General Kenobi's name of the card. When Obi Wan Kenobi is issued an order to a unit, that unit gains one search token for each unit at range one, which I did not pass out yet, but I will. And he went with ambush. Let's look at the orders. So he gave his to his strike team so he can throw another bomb before he dies, I'm sure is his plan here. That's why we went with the search token nonsense, so that way he could not uh, just rain free on me. And so he'll have four or five search tokens, so will he, and so will he. But we'll put those out soon. Anakin has the dodge from Vigilance from last round, thanks to Obi-Wan, and his two surges from Reliable 2. And I think that's all you have order-wise, right? You're not the droids nonsense nope, system. No, no cute orders for the Empire like that. Okay, the uh, purple ones do still have three suppression. I put it up here just for tracking. Obi has one. The um, 501st Blue have one. And Anakin has one suppression. If you're keeping track at home. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with these guys before they get wiped off the board. They do have two suppression on them. We'll uh, roll these dice here. They're gonna hold on to both of them, unfortunately. And uh, they're just gonna play that same song one more time because when you can hit everything in a clone ball, you just hit everything in a clone ball. So we'll throw that bomb out there. And with that action, we'll detonate it. All right, so I'm gonna start with myself again because, you know, ladies first. Ooh, two for me, that's not, that's not the best. But I'll block one, so one more scout dies. So now I'm just left with the bomber and the unit leader. And then we'll start with Jedi again. So we'll go with Kenobi. He's looking at two. I'm just debating whether you're using Anakin's dodge since he is exemplar. That's what I'm trying to think of, guys. No. We have we have five surges on the on the Obi-Wan and two in Anakin, so let's see if we we'll spend one of Obi-Wan's five surges and be fine. Alright, next we'll go with Anakin. He does have a dodge. So you're looking at a hit and a crit. We'll spend the dodge. Alright, one crit. Take a wound. Wound on Anakin. And then let's start with the orange unit. You're looking at a hit and a crit. Okay. We're fine. Alright, then we'll go with the purple unit. Nothing. We'll go with the blue unit. Hit and a crit. We'll spend one of their mini search tokens. And then we'll go with the shiny unit. For nothing. That was a really lackluster bomb. Okay, we're going to go with the orange um, troopers who are now up to five suppression because of all the bomb nonsense. So let's see what we get off. We get two off, so we have three, so we get one action. And I could, you know, damage this back if I wanted to, but we're early. So I think what we're going to do is with all these search tokens on the board is we're going to shoot range three into the light cover guy up there. Okay. So the Z6 is six white dice. The three remaining clones on that 212 have three black dice. They do not surge or anything, but we have access to nine clone surges and two Anakin surges. So I think we're okay on surge tokens. We just need paint on this roll. He has the light cover. What did I drop? White. We will spend one, two, three, four. So we're going to spend two off of each of the clone units. I have two off myself and two off the other one to split around. So you're going to look at a total of four getting through the cover because that one will get eaten by the cover. All right, so I just need some shields here. So I do not surge defense. So I block two, take two, and he's still alive. All right, so we'll go to the stack here. It's going to be a core. Let's start with our fairly wounded mortar here. It does roll off its suppression, kind of unfortunate. We'll take the aim for the first action. We're going to take a shot into Anakin for our second. All right, so we've got an aim token. We have critical one, and so let's see what we do. What the heck? All right, we'll spend the aim on these two. And you're looking at one crit. Oh, the crit game, guys. Only Don can do this many crits. No damage, but two more suppression. From the ATRT who's broken. He did roll the damaged moving one, so he does need two actions to move that ATRT now. Yes, anything. Tonight is Don's night for the game. Um, so we're going to take an aim for the first action. We're just going to shoot the mortar, I guess. All See right, hit him. going for another shot on the mortar. Okay, black, white, white, crit one. There's your crit. Spend the aim. You're looking at two coming at you. Right. We'll block one, take one. So we'll go to the stack again here. Early Iden, not great. Uh, she'll quick thinking to get an aim and a dodge, and then we'll try to finish off our ATRT friend, put him out of his misery, and we'll go to the dice All right, Iden's two reds, two whites, one black, critical one, impact one, surge to hit with an aim token. Ooh. Oh my god, you didn't get a crit, a surge, and a hit? Yeah. I guess what we'll do is we'll use her marksman to change one to a crit, and then we'll impact one to a crit, so you're looking at two crits. Oh, okay. So two crits out of nothing, I like it. He's dead, anyway. He's double dead. All right. Anakin, who's up to five suppression, so we're going to try to roll those off. He's going to hold on to him. He's a little suppressed here, guys. Okay, we recovered. That's a good good plan. All right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's going to be a core. We'll go with these guys over here. I have a conundrum of shooting Anakin with a dodge means I'm going to lose at least one shore trooper. Well, just one shore trooper. Where do I start working on more of those orange guys there? I, I think I'm going to go with Anakin. I'm, I'll take the one wound. So we'll take an aim, and then we'll shoot everything into Anakin. All right, so it's four black. I'm sorry, six blacks, two whites. 
with a name token, critical one, into Anakin. <sighs> I'm Your sorry. crits are just stupid. Um, just we'll, gonna... we'll spend the aim here on these guys. All right, so Carver will take that. You're looking at five, buddy. Well, I'd love to, you know, dodge Guardian. I can still dodge. Dodge is not say I cannot dodge. They won't take one away, but I still activate them. So that is true. I would have to roll a block to make you lose somebody now. That is true. Because I just have to negate one damage. So yeah, I'm still going to spend the dodge. Okay, dim sewing it up. So I activate my surge to block. I can't burn. You can't do anything. So I, I block three, take two, and you lose one. It's fair trade. Okay, going to my sack. Going to the purple. They have three suppression like everyone else in the whole world. So we are 0 for 8 in suppression removal this round. That's not, not a great number for your suppression. So I guess we just shoot up and see if we can kill the scouts. Yeah, you can definitely because do that. Because the evaporator's not really there. It's true. So we'll just we'll at least try to do that. Sounds good. So we have four black, six white. Um, we do have access to four surge tokens off of their buddies and two off Anakin if we need them. We're just going to roll three paints and that's it. So two will go away, so you're just looking at... No, nope. all three go away because of the low profile. Okay, all three. Expression. All right, go to the stack here. It's going to be Satchel Forces. We'll go with the Inferno Squad here. They will uh, go ahead and tap their offensive push. They'll get a tactical one move. So they're going to move all the way up into this barrier here just so that they can start working towards the guys they need to kill here. And then we'll take our uh, Del Mico shot into the shiny. All right, so two blacks with a name into the shinies with no cover. Um, we'll just oh we'll spun this for lethal and just kill you. So there, there is a guardian in this game, guys. Oh, I did bring Obi to guardian shots, but you can't do that when you roll five crits and three crits and four crits and one crit. So eventually we might see that happen. I don't know. Okay, this is the blues because the shinies have a order token. So let's see if we can get it. Nope. That's 0 for 9 in suppression removal so far this round if we're <laughs> keeping track at home. Which means they have one action, and uh, I don't know what they can really do with that one action. I should have probably thought this through before we took the camera, but that's okay, guys. We do have a rocket launcher. I don't know if I have range for it. Where's your leader? Up here. You sure do. Okay, so I guess we'll just shoot the rocket launcher and see if we can kill him. All right, heavy cover. Okay, it's a rainbow. Impact won't matter. We have search tokens to war. Oh, just suppression. All right. All right, we'll go to the stack here. It's going to be our mortar. He's got a suppression on him. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to roll it off. Show and Let's Joe do our have... one suppression roll uh, that doesn't matter because I have courage to. So that he's just go. He's going to move on up to this wing. He's going to reposition at the end of that move just so he's pointed in the right direction. And then he's going to heal the first wound off of this evaporator with his second action. Good job. Just to level set, I forgot that because my rocket launcher guys have first, but the rest are shinies. They had the rocket launcher, so when they went, they had two suppression. I just rolled off camera. They got one off, so they still had one action. So the shot earlier that did absolutely nothing still was in fact. The blue ones have the shotgun, so they're going to go now. They have one suppression. They do not get it off. They only have a range three base gun and a range two. Um, so he's just going to hop above over his friend here into this barrier spot and touch in this map. I'll repo here and that's that's all they can do. All right, it's gonna be the stack. We're gonna go with the core. It's gonna be these shores. They see their friends out there throwing bombs and they're like, you know what? I've got a gun. I wanna throw my gun. That's true. So they're doing a double move. That'll be them. Okay. Okay, Obi's got two suppression. <laughs> he doesn't care at least. The only he... suppression you've rolled off was off camera, buddy. Yep, should do that every time. So he's just going to walk up to, I guess, the front of the line here. Okay. And because we're in desperation mode, he's going to go ahead and jump and charge at the same oh, time. Oh, okay. Because I'm tired of just sitting behind this and getting suppressed and not being able to do anything. So that we're going to go sense. through like that. We'll pop um, force reflexes and bring back force reflexes so we at least have a dodge. Do you have anyone left to shoot at? Yes, you do. You have steps towards right there. So we're going to pop this dodge like so. And we're going to bring back reflexes, not barrier, that is still gone from last round. And we'll see what Obi can do. All right, let's go to the dice box. Okay, Obi has... Double rainbow. He's pierce two. He's impact two. He's critical two. I have a dodge and I have like one, two, three, four, five, I four. You spent one. Oh, so I think I have four left on him. I don't know. It's yeah. over there. Either way, I won't roll that many surges. My critical. Well, there's three pierce two, so at least they're dead. All but, right, but not by much. Let's see how many that you actually have to pierce here. You have to pierce both of them. So, but that unit does. All right, I'm going to the stack here. It's going to be the uh, guys right here. They're going to go ahead and. Come up around here, and they're going to drop 
10 black dice into Obi-Wan Kenobi and see if we can't make something stick. Okay. All right, we got 10 black dice. We don't surge anything, so we're just looking for natural stuff into Obi-Wan who has light cover from his suppression token. That's, that's not horrible here. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna lose one to cover, one with the dodge, I assume. Yep. Heavy, four. Have you come back there? No, because my eye level is to your base. True, true. Okay. So four still. So yeah, we spent the dodge that takes down the four, so we have search block and deflect activated now at this point. All right, so we're going to go to the sack. It's going to be our heavy. What we're going to do for the first move is we're going to just strafe sideways to point myself this way. And then our second move, we're just going to go ahead and fly right under our heavy friend here. Knocking over everything as we go. And we'll end up right there. Coming in to flank, totally unneeded. Second is going to be this, because Joe's all on activations. These guys are going to come up here. They're going to heal one wound off of that. Okay, it's the end of round two. Um, he's moving up here. He's going to grab that. He's got one of the, the wound I put on it off, so it still has its base at two. That one is down to one wound. That one is down to one wound. Mine is still oh, just at the two. I haven't touched it because, I mean, I'll, I'll be staying here the whole game, so I guess I could eventually do it. Obi jumped up to get Daring, and with the dodge and surges, he just decided to roll all blanks, so he's got four damage. Anakin's got three damage because of something very similar, and I'm suppressed to the ever-living nothing. So we'll start round three and see how it goes, but it might not go long if, if, if anything continues in this trend of nothing at all going my way. So let's go see it. Round three, I went with Hello there. Obi-Wan Kenobi gains Nimble at the start of his activation phase. Obi-Wan gains one aim, one dodge, one standby, or one search for each enemy at range one and two. There's only one, so he took a dodge. And he went with Push, which gave me first activation, which was the whole purpose for me to do this because things are going well for the Republic here. Obi-Wan Kenobi has a dodge shelter from that and his order. Uh, there's a couple clone units without suppression, but there's also some with a lot of suppression still. Anakin has no suppression. He went with his strike to his scout team and Aiden right there with their push action, so we'll go back and see how this goes. So Obi has his um, one dodge. I guess technically I do have to roll for his suppression. Look at you getting all that suppression off. This is when I don't want it off, actually, because he's probably going to you know, be hanging out there at some point, whether either I kill your unit, which is unlikely, or you withdraw and let everyone else shoot me. So, But that's neither here nor there. So we are just going to jump right down there like so. On, I guess on top of that. Okay. And that's my first action, or actual aim, and then we'll do that. Okay, and I'm going to trigger the bomb there before your charge gets in. And then we'll let you cut me in half. If I live. All right, so we'll throw a bomb at Obi here. Sorry, you can just count it. All right, so hitting a crit. Hitting a crit. We'll spend one dodge to remove the hit. Okay. Oh, I just guaranteed I am nimble, guys. You know what? I have situational awareness. Let's just spend both. We'll get one back with nimble, take no damage, and he has to roll against himself. All right, let's see what I get. So I'm taking two crits. And I'm taking two crits. So that's two down. So we're looking at three now that Obi gets to cut in half. So Obi rolls a double rainbow. And now you have an aim token. It was my first action I took. I just bring it over here. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Four so far, we'll spend the aim. And we do have critical two on Obi, so this becomes five pierce two. Five pierce two, no problem. So we block three, we save one, but that whole unit is going. No. Yes. Yep, yeah, yeah, the whole unit does. Right, going to the stack, the only one I don't want to see is a heavy. Hey, look, guys, it's my heavy. So we'll go over here. He's just going to double move. Start working on getting into the fight over here. Throw the base. We'll come to here. And he's gonna probably gonna come something like so. I'll help you out, buddy. Just move him. And you want to land on that spine. You're a repulsor, you don't care. Yep. He'll end up there. Perfect position next round to start planking away some more of my four clones. Go to my stack. We're gonna core. We're gonna go with the five of first, the only one of the only two cores with no suppression. They're nowhere near range two for their shotgun, and they really can't move because they would have to do a speed one to go to like here to get in their range two. So we're just gonna take our five black dice into this um Mortar and see if we can take on the activation. All right, to the dice mask. Hey, five black dice. I do have light cover. Ooh, aim? No. OK, 
Okay, so you're looking at three coming at you. Right, three after our cover. And that's going to be a dead mortar. Go into the stack here. Now we get a core. Let's go with these guys. Let's take an aim and they'll shoot at Obi-Wan Kenobi because he's just standing right there. All right, so we're down to five blacks and two whites because we lost one of our regular short troopers. We do have an aim in critical one. Obi has light cover from his suppression. And we will spend the aim on two of these dice here. And your cover will take away one. Your dodge will take away one. But you're nimble, so you keep it. So you're looking at three. I do need to get two of these to survive. You do now search defense, so that's good. So and I do survive, and defense. one of your two people die because of my deflect. lose another short trooper. Okay, so Anakin's going to go. He's just he, going to take his... He did draw Anakin off the stack. I did. I just we left did. it out. We didn't pre-do this at all. He's going to move up to here, just shy of the difficult train, and then he will use his jump keyword to jump over said train to this barrier here. Okay. Bringing his wounds and surge tokens from his um, lovely reliable two. And then that's all he can really do, guys, at this point. They really need to fix Anakin. Going to the stack here. We're at the core. We'll go with the purple shores here. They will start moving towards this evaporator. They'll end up right there. They'll take their shot, actually, into Obi. And we'll go to the dice box. This is probably where Obi falls, guys. All right, so this is a full shore unit, so it's six blacks, two whites, critical one, into light cover, Obi. Um, so the critical will take that, and you're looking at just two crits after critical. Situational dodge to one. Yep, situational dodge to one. So it's paint, he lives. No paint, he dies. He lives! We got a core, we'll roll right here. We're gonna go with the orange trooper, so three suppression still. Oh, look at you rolling off, too. Still sadly one action, but at least we rolled some off. That is an there improvement in things. Um, Everything's coming up mill house. They can't see anything from where they're at. They cannot. So they're just going to put a damage on that VAP and call it a day. Sounds like a plan. All right, go to the stack. It's our special forces. We'll go with the Inferno Squadron here. They are just going to move this direction as far over here as they can. Oh, yeah, we got Obi there. See if we're in range three or not. Yeah. And then they'll take their shot at Obi. All right, so Obi's gonna get heavy cover for the shot because most of them is obscured. I've got two blacks for a regular, two blacks for a dial, and two reds for Gideon with a name token and marksman. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so I do surge to hit. And... Yeah, there's not really a good opportunity here. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk risk it here. We're gonna roll two of the aim for four. So two go for cover. Dodge one goes for dodge. Hoping you at least not convert one, but not not the game tonight. Ooh, I will block that thing to my dodge, and he suffer loses a, a wound. suffers a wound. Okay, we're in my stack. It is the purple boys who have two suppression left. So let's see if we can get any of them off. Got one. I mean, that is that is better than none. I'm not complaining, but I would love to actually have two actions for once in this game. So they're going to come, like, so around this barrier. So they're going to just start trudging up here. Okay. Like so. That's them. We're going to go here into this to get some cover. All right, so we'll go ahead and go with Aiden now. Um, we'll go ahead and take a quick thinking, get an aim and a dodge, and we'll take our shot into Obi-Wan. See if we can't put him out of his misery. Okay. All right, so Aiden's got two blacks. I'm sorry, two reds, one black, two whites. Critical one, surge to hit, into heavy cover Obi, with an aim token. Blank, 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 blank. That's, that's a blank. There's the blank there, so that's the critical. Um, so we're losing two. You're going to lose three no matter how you slice this. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just marksman up this to a hit. We'll lose all uh, covers, and then dodge. So you're looking at two. Can he do it one more time, guys? Can Obi hang on one more time? We need two paint here. Two paint. Oh, so close. Yeah. All I've got left is the rocket launcher people. Um, you know, they're not sure what they want to do, guys. They, they have some thoughts on life. It's nice that they think about life like that. They do. They contemplate things and bad choices. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of play a little crazy here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to move up to here and take a shot at these short shooters. Sounds like a plan. Just, just because, why not? It's going to be a whopping four black dice, but we're sure going to try. So they'll come here like so, get that nice shot on them, and see if we can hurt anything. 
Sounds good. Let's see if Don didn't use all the crit power of these dice tonight. If there's any left, any juice left for some crits, get the heavy cover. Oh, we got one hit. No crits, but I'll take the hit. One hit through to my shores. We're gonna go ahead and take take it on. All right, uh, it's just me now because Joe's all out. So I just got cores left. This is a dead core. This is gonna be this mortar. He's gonna heal one off of this. Oh no, he's already healed one. This is his wound. He's gonna heal the last one off of this one. And the other one is our stormtrooper over there. They're gonna heal one more and take a dodge. And that's the end of them. End of round three. They're all moving up. It took his whole it took every one of his forces left to kill Obi, but sadly Obi did finally fall in his valiant effort. He did deflect a few wounds, kill the strike team. Anakin kinda wants to see what next round looks like. I don't know if it's really we're gonna go one more round, guys. Anakin, Anakin's feeling a little more rejuvenated now. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see what he can do. Anakin, we need you to be the hero of the Republic. Come on. Man. Round four, I went with. This is where the fun begins. I gain outmaneuver, relentless, and if there's, if it's not my first activation of, I get a suppression. Um, no dodges, no aims. Personally, still think this card needs a buff like his uh, two pip got. May need to give him a dodge or something with this or an aim or. One of the two. He gets to choose. I don't know. Pulse Scan's a great card. I inversely gain Sharpshire 2 and 1 aim token. At the end of her activation, she gains a dodge token and a standby token. And of course, like everything else's game, Don rolled a block, so he will get priority. Um, if you've been watching this whole game, which I'm assuming you have at this point, <laughs> you would know. You're still here. <laughs> pretty much everything has gone his way. And he got the order here. He's got Reliable 2. I got the order there. She got an aim because, like I said, most people's one pips give them stuff. And you're going to go with Aiden. I am. I'm thinking about what I want to do, though, so give me a second. Hmm. I guess I can do that. All right, so we're just going to go with Aiden. She got an aim from her uh, command card. We're going to quick thinking, and then we're going to take our shot into heavy cover Anakin, and then uh, we'll get a dodge and a standby at the end of the activation. Okay. Anakin's got three health left. He's got two surges, and that's about it. All right, so I get two reds, two whites, one black, sharpshooter two with two aims into Anakin, who now has no cover. All right, um, so this surges to a hit, you don't need to and then uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just enjoy that. Okay, so I'm rolling five. I've got two surge tokens. I've got three health left. I need I need blocks. I do have just enough surge tokens to take two wounds but survive. Yeah, you take three. Oh, you, I'm I sorry, I, didn't, I missed this one. So you take if two. If I take three, I would have been dead. That's true. And again, it's down to one health, and these surge tokens are gone. Uh, he did have to use those to keep that one health he has left. Um, he does have a suppression token from that attack. He'll keep it. You know, get some get some doesn't mobile. He, doesn't he not have two suppression tokens? White cover. Because of his card, he wasn't the first to go. First of his team to go? Oh, it's his first to hit. Yeah, I thought no, it was just no. first. If it was period. first, that would be even worse. So he's going to go ahead and move. So he'll use a jump action first. All right, we'll make sure you're not in range two. No, no, we'll do that. And we're going to go ahead and... Charge into these fellas? I think so. I think, why, why not, guys, at this point? At this point in the game, we've already lost. Let's have some fun. All right, let's take a ride on my disco stick. Six reds, pierce three. Let's go check it out. Okay, six red dice. I do not surge in any way, shape, or form at this point. And um, I have no aim tokens. He's got three people left. We've got pierce three. I think you're okay. He's got, got five. Four pierce three. Five pierce three. Oh, it's five pierce three. That's nasty, so I get that six oh, dice. Yeah. Well, I stop three. You pierce all three of them, and then that unit is done. Go to the sack here. It's going to be our lat. Uh, it'll take an aim, and it's going to shoot those shinies, see if we can't wipe them off. All right, we did recover our uh, high-velocity shells by not using them for a turn. So we're back to three reds, three blacks, one white, critical one, no cover, and an aim. So this will be a critical. Just look at the difference between his dice and my dice in this game. And then we'll spend the aim on these two. And there's our blank red in there, if that makes you feel any better. No, you it doesn't. roll three crits off the bat. And then you're just looking at a total of five? Five? I got four health. You do have four health. You're going to save two. I'll so have one left. One unit left. Go to my stack. It's a core. We've got these lovely purple guys. Let's move the guys they cohesed forward. Move them to speed one through this lovely crater that's just, just kind of hard to walk through. It's uneven ground. It's a little mushy on the inside. It's a little hot on his feet. So it's a little up, hot on his feet. It's like snow. Food. No, that, that's that's on fire from... Oh, it's fire snow. No, it's just it's the, the ground. You know, It's a crater. All right. So we'll go here. We're going we're gonna to shoot some dice into those short troopers' heavy cover. All right, my poor shores. Okay, four blacks, six whites. I'm missing a white dice. There we go. Six whites. That's it. He's got heavy cover. We need some crits or a whole bunch of hits. 
That's, oh, there's some crits in there's there. There's some crits. The hits go away to cover, but we got three crits. I finally pulled the dawn, guys. It just took three. the very end of this uh, match. Three crits on my shores. Oh, just, you know what? Uh, <laughs> okay, well. Oh, that's fine. Right, so we'll go with the stack. It's going to be the shores that we just got shot at. They're going to hold on to that, but they'll just take a shot at Anakin, and hopefully we can take down the hero of the Republic. He's got light cover. He's got literally no tokens. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's a full unit of shores still. They've got... Only because they keep rolling blocks. Six flats, two whites into Anakin, who's got light cover. I got crits. There's three crits. Oh, I'm sorry. Only only two crits, guys. I, I lied. Just two. So that's critical. Not three. So those go away. We lose one to cover. You're looking at four. Just be four natural blocks here, guys. Four natty blocks. Not a problem for Anakin. Just, uh, if, Ooh, if I had oh. a dodge or thing. Anakin's dead. Okay, guys. I'm done at this point. That's the end of a... Uh, that's technically like halfway through round four, I guess. Um, but we're calling it. Anakin's dead. Obi's dead. The scout strike team is dead. The ATRT is dead. All my clones are still alive except for a couple of random ones. But um, I just, to be completely honest, everyone didn't know that bomb was suppressive. <laughs> Knew I could survive it. And I did. Both bombs did a total of two damage to all my guys. That's true. That's it. But it was 28 suppression. That was the harder part. Yeah. It wasn't quite 28. You blinked on a few. Okay. So 23 suppression. Yeah, like 24 maybe. Okay. Maybe. We'll cut it down. But uh, no, I... I did absorb it all like I thought I could. I lost one hit point to Anakin and one orange clone trooper off of two bombs. And that hit everybody. So I, I hit everyone. But it was the suppression between that and the mortar lane suppression down that they just they couldn't move. We just got stuck. Once the Jedis got out, they killed things. But I knew doing that, it was stupid high risk, high reward because they're out in the open at that point. But I kind of had to because these guys even moving with their suppression, only one action into a difficult terrain piece, trying to come around this corner to his VAP was, was a dead game. A um, couple things caught me off guard them getting out. I wasn't going to be shocked if you put another unit over by that VAP, but the heavy was kind of a surprise to me. So I uh, wasn't expecting the I mean, my thought the team to get was, hit so if, hard. If I had put it over here, it would you would have just shot the shit out of it and it would have died. So it wouldn't have done much on this side. Whereas take this after you set everything up over here, this was my only path to victory. Like I had, I couldn't go this way anymore. I had to secure this and then fall back to these two and hope I lived through whatever you came in, and then I just got really lucky with all the bomb placement. And... So I see a lot of marching forward, not so much falling back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there was no falling back from the, the Empire. Um, I did kill some units, but it was kind of at the end when it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was just the, the double bomb throw just suppressed me enough just to kill me. And then Obi just straight up blanking four of his six health in one yeah. shot. With the dodge we, token was... We also did forget I, have char I had Sharpshooter 1, so he wouldn't have had cover, so he would have rolled one more... That one Defense. statistically better have been a You probably would have surge. at least gotten something out of that. <laughs> but you never know. But really, if you'd gotten five blanks, you would have died one shot earlier, so. That's, that's true. Yeah, um, usually, I, I've played Obi Anakin a fair amount of times over. Not so much, I don't think, I don't know if I've done it on the channel yet. We were like 30 like episodes once. in. But I've, I've played it a fair amount of times. Usually, I do much better than this. Um, it just, I wasn't ready for the suppression. I play Rebels and Clones who hate suppression, and then everyone else in my area plays pretty much Empire or um, Separatists who don't give any poop about suppression, so it's always a one-way street, which is always sad, but it was still a good game. It was fun to die and um, watch Dice turn the blanks and Anakin Obi. Anakin I have thoughts on, so if you, if you want to hear a thought, stick around for a second. Anakin, they made better. He made his two-pip. Funny enough, the only pip I didn't, the only card I didn't play, <laughs> a little better. They gave him a, to be able to give another order to someone instead of just himself, which was kind of stupid to begin with. And then they gave him defend one, which is nice. My issue with him is he's on a faction that you don't really have time to just devote a card to one guy to build him up. And then once he's fully built up, he's good. He's pretty good. But he's still not as good as a Yoda, for example. Sure, I know it's going to say, oh, but you can roll six reds with him versus Yoda. But if Yoda charges into you, he's attacking with eight dice twice. So, and that's Pierce four cumulatively. So I still think Yoda's better offensively too. But I just wish his one pip gave him a dodge or an aim or something more than just outmaneuver relentless. And then another negative. Yeah. Each of his cards give him a negative and a little bit of a positive. And then he has a flawed card on top of that, which he has no right to have, in my opinion. Nope. Because he's nowhere near good enough to deserve a flawed mm -hmm. card. And it's the same with Lando and Callus too. I don't think either of them should have flaw cards because no. neither of them are good enough to warrant a flaw card. So I think the problem was was the design space when they made Anakin. They're like, we're going to make the flaw card, and so they they were trying to be so tricky with Anakin that they forgot he should be good. Like he should be Darth Vader good. Like the only people in the game I think that are really really good enough for flaw cards, like really good enough, is maybe like Aiden and maybe Yoda. I don't know what Yoda's flaw would be, but 
those are good enough where they could warn a flaw card to kind of like tone them down for a round, maybe. You know, or maybe even um, the new super tax. I wouldn't mind some kind of like overthinking or overprocess, and they take a second to like yeah. sputter out. Or I mean, at this point, Operative Bader could even say he needed a flaw. Yeah, yeah. Operative Bader is a monster. But like, that is true. Originally, no, but now, now, yeah, he yeah, probably. But, but what the fix is, he's just a monster. But the ones they gave the flaw cards who are just interesting choices. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, it's it's my honest opinion on Anakin. It just not having Master of the Force at all out of the gate, we've seen with with um. Luke, Commander, really just hinders him. And Anakin having to play a 2-pip that has a negative if he doesn't attack early enough to get a Master Force to be able to use your Force is, is unfortunate. It is. Yeah, I don't... They, they need to fix him. He's just not in a good playable state. Obi-Wan's great. I like Obi. It's just an unfortunate blank. If he, did, if he didn't blank, even if I rolled half, I still would be a lighter. I would still have one to two health left at the end of that round. Yeah. So I think Obi's fine. I like Obi. He's very defensive. Don just, I don't know what he did to his dice tonight, but the crits came, so I had, so I, today, had I, guess, and it, it just worked out. I had Guardian 3, was going to use my Sorcerer Master to let me use some of my dodges to keep people alive, but when you roll nothing but crits and I can't Guardian a crit, kind of kills the guardian -ness. I used Force Barrier only twice, which is probably the least I've ever used it in the game, but they only cancel two dice because, they, they, well, they were crits, so. It's true. The ATRT, I knew it was going to die, guys. I knew I put it here, and I was like, okay, I was hoping to get one shot. And the fact that he just punched through stupid amount of crits early, and then I and happened then to roll the, the, the movements, so possible. I couldn't even go. Yeah. Um, which was unfortunate. I was hoping to get at least one or two shots. And it did what I wanted to do. It pulled some fire to let this force kind of move. That was kind of the thought behind them. Yep. But all in all, the tactic didn't work. The plan didn't work. The bomb, um, suppressive bomb, really really did a number on the guys. But, you know, I'm, so, I'm, I'm overall happy with how much clones still survived all those shots and bombs. I mean, that was a lot ridiculous. Like, you rolled so many... I guess I rolled poorly with the bombs a little bit. It wasn't even my rolls. It was more of the and dodges, the the dodges surges and surges. And surges and surges. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I knew that was going to happen, but I was doing it for the, the suppression. So, and I got the suppression. You got the suppression. You got what you needed to get. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you guys had fun with it. Um, if you're an Empire player, I'm sure you love it. If you're a clone player, don't worry. The clones will be back again. I'm going to be starting, um, I don't know about next episode, but very shortly with uh, we'll do some tournament prep episodes because I will be at Adepticon playing there. It will be either a Rebel list or a um, Republic list that I like both. One is a very Mandalorian type list. I know there's some people who've waited in the chat with me. We've had some nice discussions about where the Mandalorians are at in this game. I personally love Mandalorians in this game. Even the four health ones that people say aren't worth the cost, they're speed, they're nimble, they're able to, they can grab objectives really easy. I like them. So I have a list with Sabine, some Mando, some Clan Wrens, some Leia's, and then my, my Republic Force, of course, has Yoda, some Wookiees, and some, well, some clones, because that's pretty much what every Republic Force Because you have to have clones? Because you kind of have to have at least required. three clones. They are. So I'll play both over the course of a few weeks to kind of see which one I want to go with at the tournament. Um, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but I think it'll be fun. And Don will play some popular Separatist Empire lists like Vader Dubaks and the, the three stupid spider again. droids that are just very strong with their little super attack buddy. I, I, they got to get a hot fix on those guys. I mean... When the Separatist right. player who loves his Separatist is telling you they need to be fixed, that tells you they're probably a little bonkers. I mean, it's ridiculous when it's like, oh, auto-include the cheapest support you can put in there that does a range 4 ion gun with precise 2 that gets a free aim, or that has to take an aim, or gets an aim. Oh, you just bring one of those great new super attacks and yeah, just pass out and aims then, or overrides. Yeah, Kalani's back there strategizing and giving you all the, all the things, so yeah. it's a lot broken. So yeah, so unfortunately with that space, there is no vehicles coming in any tournament list of mine. So my Rebel list and my Empire or Republic list have no vehicles, no ISPs, no no tanks. I know this day my tank list is well a little bit well for one person who's really good with it. Overall, looking at LVO, it doesn't look like that many um, did well. And I'm just worried about those ions. They just come through and they just, if you're ion, you, you're kind of just dead in the water. And they can do that very easy with range four and that many dice. And it's impact two too, isn't it? Or is it impact one? Either way, it's impact. One. It's impact, so it's not hard for it to get that hit through in the armor. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Remember, there's a comment. Remember to comment for the giveaway for Lando. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Bye, guys.